Welcome to Georgia, long known as the peach state. You know, peaches are the official state fruit here with more than one and a half million peach trees to harvest. And when that happens, there is a lot of work to be done and a little festival fun. Harvest festivals like this one for peaches are as old as America itself. We'll come back to this party in a moment, but in order to have a festival, you have to start on the farm. Here in central Georgia, bringing in the peach harvest is a race, getting the fruit off the tree, processed, and off to consumers. How quickly can this product, this peach, be in a store? Oh, in some cases, this peach will be in the store uh, midnight tonight. Today? Yeah. Harvesting crews will comb the trees for peaches at the peak of ripeness. They'll be picked and then dumped into huge bins that can hold thousands of pieces of the sweet, juicy fruit. If you like peaches, the fruit from these trees in Fort Valley, Georgia, may have made it to your kitchen or lunchbox. That's because Lane Southern Orchards is one of the country's largest packing and shipping farms. Very good. Duke Lane knows peaches. He says they're in his blood. It's been the family business for more than a century. Look at that. How old is this tree? This tree is four years old. It's, four? It's what That's we call it? in the fourth leaf, the fourth year of production. How big was it when you planted it? This tree was, uh, if you take this limb and strip this limb down to about this size, when that tree was planted, actually four years ago, this was the size of it. It was a root system, and we planted like this, and this is what you had for the first year. That's amazing how quickly and it, it grows. it puts on tremendous growth. Each tree can produce 400 peaches a season, and peaches are labor intensive. Workers will hand harvest fruit from each tree four times in a three month period. Once at the packing house, the peaches are quickly sent through a drenching cooling bath, taking their temperature from nearly 100 degrees down to near freezing. Duke Lane III oversees the packing house, shipping some 25 million pounds of peaches each season. And this is really done with people who are eyeballing and really checking the fruit. Every peach touched by hand. Peach business is very labor intensive, all the way from thinning and pruning by hand in the field, to grading by hand, even to packing on the other end. It's all done by hand. A lot of subjective grading and decisions need to be made, so it's not so much mechanically uh, available. The packing house is always rolling. Peaches are defuzzed, graded, sized, and packed. From here, they're shipped all across the country. I think that there's a wonderful educational component to this processing center. You've opened it up to the public. Yeah. We've opened the business up for people. They come in here, they understand why their produce may cost a little bit more. They see what goes unto it, pour it to get them fresh. They recognize, you know, how uh, tedious and time consuming it is. So we think it's extremely valuable to educate consumers about what goes on in the, not only in peaches, but agriculture in general. Lanika Allen brought her son from Miami for a little primer on peaches. I wanted to come here so that I can show him where the peaches come from and how they handle them before we bring them home and we make our peach pies and we make our peach cobblers. Duke, when you sit here and you look at the fruits of your labor, literally, what does it mean to you to be a supplier of food? Well, it, it's, it's a very important part to be, um, to be part of the American enterprise of, of doing things on your own and, and growing food is, uh, is, about as, is about as rewarding as it gets to see people come out here and want your product and buy it and they're tickled to have to get it and eat it and it makes a lot of people happy. And today's the Peach Festival. And today is the Peach Festival. $3 a bag, $3 a shallow basket, or $5 for the bigger baskets. Just down the road from the Lane Orchards, thousands of peach fans gather each harvest season to sample everything peach. Even the houses have peach colored ribbons. I believe the bag is about full. And of course, you'll find peaches for sale. 
I couldn't help but notice you're dressed in all peach. Well, of course I am. I'm at the Georgia Peach Festival in Fort Valley. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> what were you looking for? You were feeling around and looking for the right peach. You don't want to get any that are bruised because they won't be as good. Back at Lane Southern Orchards, the party continues inside the company store. It's a peach mecca, visited by more than 300,000 people a year. The sweet story of success began here more than 100 years ago, when John David Duke planted his first crop. In the early 1900s, peaches were shipped in wooden baskets packed in ice. Now, with 5,000 acres, the Lanes make sure pictures of their family's humble farming legacy are never far away. In Georgia Peaches, we have a tremendous brand, and so just within the last three years, we've been really trying to take advantage of that. Consumer response has been fabulous. You know, Georgia is the peach state because they eat so well, not because of the big volume we grow, but because of the flavor that we produce with Georgia Peaches. Of course I feel blessed. I mean, it's, uh, you know, we've, we've never done anything but grow peaches in our life. I think my granddaddy would be proud of what we're doing. 